Well, Fallon's Fall Fest started off with a Friday night dance party featuring Contagious, playing a mix of pop and classic rock that had everyone dancing in the streets. This year's event saw record crowds with everyone having a great time. It was so great tonight. The band was awesome and there's so much art and all the kids are running around. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I hope that everyone will come out next year because I had an awesome time. You could hang out with friends, you could listen to good music, there's good food here, good company, and it's just a very enjoyable night. After a night of dancing, it was off to the races the following morning. Saturday turned out to be a beautiful day for Wolf Island's annual 5K, 10K race. Participants enjoyed a scenic route running through the surrounding neighborhoods, ending back at City Hall. The race included various divisions along with a costume contest. This year's winners were Gail Davis and Jen and Madison Holtz. I just think it's a great, a great event that you guys put on. Yeah. The thing is, everything's really well prepared and it's nice, close to home. You know the course, you know all the sponsors. I think we've always loved being a part of the community too yeah. and participating in the run with everybody from here and we see some of the same people and um, I think it's well supported. So we've had a great time every year we've come out. I'm here today because, uh, well, I do cross country and I thought this would be pretty fun because my season's ending soon, so yeah, I wanted to get another race in. This year's winners for overall male and female for the 5K went to, in the male category, first place, Luke Perry, second place, Tyler Farrell, and third place, Seth Gleason. In the female category, first place, Karina Griffin, second place, Cindy Walters, and third place, Erica Garner. For the 10K, first place for male went to Jim Stanner, second place, Tom Van Doren, and third place, Tim Wilson. In the female category, first place, Alicia Wargel, second place, Ali Whitelaw, and third place, Carol Gwynn. Now that the races are done, it was time to head over to Civic Park for a day of fun. O'Fallon's annual fall festival is a great event for the whole family, offering plenty of shopping, lots of food, and plenty of activities, and lots of entertainment with this year's running theme of bluegrass music. There's definitely plenty of entertainment at this year's fall festival along with plenty of activities for the kids. In our kids area new this year we have a barnyard petting zoo which has been a great hit. Then we have an activity that was called farmer for the day. The kids could go in and pick apples, gather eggs at the chicken coop and dig for potatoes and milk a cow. And then the, the, really the longest line was probably the John Deere pedal tractors. We had a little racetrack set up and they could go in and actually kids of all ages have been in there. I actually saw some adults and I confess I was in there as well. And um, First Baptist Church, they brought out um, pumpkins and offered that as an activity for the children. It's a community outreach for them. So lots of free kids activities. The festival also offered a step back in time to the good old days with a tour of the O'Fallon Historical Society's Log Cabin Museum. The Historical Society Log Cabin Museum was open and was part of the event and we've had a, you know, a pretty good attendance there. Folks can go in and kind of get a glimpse of what O'Fallon looked like back in the day. So, you know, that's always definitely part of this event. If you missed out on this year's event, make sure to attend next year's Fall Festival.